I love this place. I realize a lot of people find that attitude, you know, a little baffling. Through their eyes, where I live is a poor, underpopulated, undercultured place on the road to nowhere special. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I find myself wavering a little too. I'll go into a restaurant and I'll notice that the menu hasn't changed in a couple decades and I'll need to buy a new shirt and realize I have to drive 50 miles to do it. But then, but then I have a good day. I had one of those good days last week. I spent it driving around the area with a cameraman introducing them to my community. So I got to see the whole day through someone else's eyes. You know, if you live in a big city, you tend to live with with people who think like you and act like you, and that's, yeah, that's fine. But out here, where the people aren't wholesale, they're retail. There's a little more room for individuality. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we use every bit of it. Our little group spent the morning roaming the county, meeting some of these individuals. And then after lunch, we came back to the farm and met a group of friends. What happened after that was nothing special. We had some work to do. And uh, it was just done by a group of people who know how to work. And after our task was accomplished, we uh, sat around in the shade and shared lemonade and stories. Nothing spectacular happened. Just a whole lot of people who I cherish worked together. A soft breeze rustled through the leaves. Kittens stumbled underfoot. and There was quiet conversation and a little bit louder laughter every now and then. It's one of those times when nothing special was happening, but, you know, people lingered. They didn't want to leave. I bet you're not impressed. I'm giddy because I spent the day showing off the community where I live and hanging out with a bunch of small-town folks. That night, I went to bed happy and I got up the same way. You probably don't understand. unless you live in a place like mine.